Recently, I stumbled across a show that a lot of YouTubers seem to as well. It's one of those hospital shows kind of like Grey's Anatomy or ER, except it's just really bad and also fully casted with TikTok stars. So it's the perfect equation for a good video on this channel. And after I watched the first episode, I thought you guys would love it. That show is Attaway General. And today we're gonna be watching the first episode. So if you guys end up liking it, let me know. I can make videos about the rest. If I do make videos about the rest, I'll probably put like multiple episodes into one video because these are not long at all and you will see. So let's get right into it. Today's premiere of Attaway General is brought to you by Just Dance 2020. Brother, sisters, what a great way to kick off the first episode of your show. Have like the main character just do an entire commercial for you. It's not even like she's starring in a commercial for Just Dance. They literally just said, hey, um, we need some extra money so we can finish editing this thing. So we're just going to let you film a commercial for Just Dance. Oh, um, okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? The fuck if I know, just go film yourself playing the game alone. I assume that's how it's meant to be played and just talk about how good it is. Now this show is on the channel Brat TV, which after watching this show, I would very much like to see what else this channel has to offer. The teen volunteer or TV program is what you make of it. The more you prove yourself, the more rewarding your time will be. When will we get to observe in the ER? The ER is usually reserved for third year TVs. As first year TVs, you guys will be on pediatrics. So you want to put the most inexperienced people with children. I don't know much about medical stuff. Hospitals, doctors, really any of that, because I can't afford to go to one. Aside from that, I still wouldn't know anything about them. Maybe this makes sense. Maybe I'm just an idiot. It just kind of sounded silly to me. You'll help with clerical work, transpo, keeping patients company. Yes. Babysitting. Great. That's right, Georgia. Make them feel seen, heard, comforted, whatever they need. Got a problem with that? Get an MD. Any questions? Jack. Yeah, what time do we get off? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Why? What if, what if he generally needed to know that? <laughs> yeah, uh, what time do we get off? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. I was just gonna coordinate with my parents, you know, so I can get a fucking ride, but I guess I'll shut my big fat fucking mouth. Okay, how far out? Trauma team on standby. This is Nurse Sandy. She's the heart of the ER. Make her laugh and bring her chocolates and you're golden. But if you make her mad, you're gonna have a really rough road at this hospital. That's right. I'm a bitch. Ambulance bay needs hands. Patient Dr. Henry and everyone on call. Metro bus crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. What can we do? Nothing. Maeve. This is Maeve. She's our top second year. She's going to finish the tour while I go home. I'll be back when I can. Follow me. Oh, this is going to suck. This is going to be amazing. Right away, we're seeing a boatload of cliches. It looks like half of them want to be there really bad, and the other half don't want to be there. Why are they there if they don't want to? Well, we'll figure that out. But right away, we're already seeing that 9 minute and 38 second runtime being pushed to its goddamn limits. That's the problem with the show, is that if they had just made every episode 5 minutes longer, they would have had a much more fluid show, where they're not having to force everything. But what am I expecting from Brat TV? This is the break room. This is where we hang out and have lunch. Oh, thank fuck. I had no idea what a break room was. As first years, you're responsible for Franklin. Um, who's Franklin? This is Franklin. He's a little temperamental, so gotta make sure you clean him out nightly. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin's the coffee pot. Franklin's not a real person. I thought Franklin was... Hold on. This is Franklin. He's a little temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So basically the joke there, guys, is they wanted us to think fr <laughs> they wanted us to think Franklin was a person, like, oh, you'll be taking care of Franklin. But Franklin's actually just a coffee pot. Not even a person at all. But you see, the way that coffee is in the workplace is almost kind of looked upon as like more than just a drink. You <laughs> Man. Put that in my notes. Shouldn't we be doing more than learning how to make coffee? There's an emergency out there. I was getting to that. Jack and Rosie, you guys can help me upstairs with lunches. Kit and Georgia, there's a new shipment of donated toys in the shed. I want you to find them, sterilize them, and bring them to the pediatric wing. The shed? The amount of eye rolling in this is just obscene. Like I said, because the runtime is so short, they have to fit so many cliches into this so that you know exactly who these characters are, but without giving them the time to show that naturally. Well, I can see why they call this room the shed. 
Why? It's just a room with some stuff in it. They could have walked into any room and she would have said that line. Well, I can see why they call this room the shed. Hmm? Oh. Uh, this isn't the shed, this is the bathroom. Why did you follow me in here? Come on, the faster we finish, the faster we can go do something real. We've been here five seconds. Studies show we form lasting impressions about others within seconds of meeting. So I can't be with you in a closet when I meet Dr. Henry. He's the most brilliant surgeon in the state. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same accolades as a father. Oh, man. I get it now. He's one of the best in his field at being a doctor, but not a father. And she doesn't need a world-renowned doctor. She needs a world-renowned father. That's why she's been rolling her eyes all this time. That's why she's here when she obviously doesn't want to be. And all we needed was four seconds to tell us that. Well, that's probably never going to come up at all for the rest of the show. Seriously? You're his daughter? You're so lucky you don't even know it. You're giving me the impression I don't want to be in the same room as you. Well, that's mutual. If you're so advanced, why don't you go scrub in? Leave me be. Maybe I will. Now, throughout this video, as I make jokes and poke fun, I, this is not at any of the actors themselves. I don't blame them for doing this. All of the fault seems to be on the showrunners themselves, just producing a really half-assed rush show. And then you have these TikTok stars where, at like the peak of their fame, are being offered acting opportunities. To a certain extent, they probably have no idea what they're doing. They do, but they don't know this is the product. In a few years, they may understand, like, oh shit, I made that. So I don't blame them for getting into this at like 18 and 19 years old. <laughs> this wing. There's a lunch train here for everyone. Make sure everyone eats at least half before you leave. So why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juvie. So that's why he doesn't want to be there. Gosh, it's all falling together. You know what's not falling together? This woman's fucking use of a hairnet. Jesus Christ. She's wearing it like a beanie. I'm pretty sure that's not how hairnets work. But like I said, I wouldn't fucking know. What about you? I just love to help people. For real? Yeah, I just, uh, I just love to help people. What, for real? <laughs> wow, that's, that's so stupid. I have no personality. My personality actually is telling people that things they enjoy and have interest in is stupid. It's pretty fun, actually. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, hello? Hey, do you work here? I love the way they composed that scene, how long it took her to realize someone was asking for help. Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, hello? Hey, do you work here? Hi. Sure do. What do you need? Uh, my doctor, she took me back here forever ago and she hasn't come back yet. Sorry, but it's really busy right now. There's been a huge accident. I know. I was in it. Oh, that must have been... Yeah, I got pretty lucky. I'm just uh, I'm a little worried right now because I'm losing a lot of blood. And my favorite sweatshirt. You should be fine to wait a little. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. That's comforting. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. That's why she said it. I'm holding. Third degree burns, possible smoke inhalation. We couldn't get a line in. Give me a 24 needle norepinephrine. What else can I do? Oh, you've done more than enough. You can go back to your normal duties. You've done more than enough. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know why at first I thought that he'd done something wrong or maybe he was the cause of it, but she was just telling him that in like a nice way. For some reason, it just kind of came off hostile at first. So if you don't mind me asking, what did you do to get arrested? In prison, you're never supposed to ask about the crime. Okay. Um. This is not prison, so you can just answer the fucking question. You're supposed to ask about the crime. And she didn't even react to it, too. She's just like, in prison, you never ask about the crime. Hmm? Oh, I forgot I asked you a question. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're the last one. You have to eat. Hey, don't ignore me. Um, hey, Jack, maybe try a gentler approach. Mine. Eat your food. What are you doing? You can't just force him. Here, let me try. Stevie, sweetie, you need to eat to get big and strong and feel better. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. How about the airplane? Why does this kid look so grossed out? It's 
Like fucking Fruit Loops or some shit. It doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I- the reason I got sentenced to this is because I beat the shit out of a kid for throwing food on me. What are you doing? Oh. Don't come any closer. I don't think that's gonna hurt anyone. Depends where I put it. <laughs> Where, 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 where are you gonna put it? Whoa, what? Your new TV, aren't you? Nicely done, Sherlock. She's being unnecessarily nasty for no reason at all, just because she's upset with her dad. Now, what are you doing? Do you always sneak up on people when they're sleeping? Actually, I had a reason to be in here. Some of us have work. Am I supposed to congratulate you? If you want to. You? That was gross and uncomfortable and made no sense at all. Damn, this girl's being really mean to me. I'm gonna get like within kissing distance away from her face and I'm gonna whisper with my hot breath in her face. If you want to. <laughs> That's so fucking gross. Oh, here they are. And boom, just like that, nothing like sexual tension to just make you a better person and do your job. EP's too low, I can't find a vein. I need more hands. Well, you had hands a minute ago, but then you sent that goddamn e-boy off to go flirt with a girl in the closet. Now they're shit out of luck. Or are they? We'll find out what happens in like two seconds because this thing moves at like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> you, come here. It's our first day. Get over here. Come on. Grab on right below the elbow and squeeze as tight as you can. Now don't worry about hurting her. Good. Minute longer. And we're in. Keep up the rescue breaths. Good job. Kit. Kit, I'm Dr. Henry. I know. You're amazing. I read your book. It was amazing. And that, that was... Yeah, amazing. Yeah, thanks for the help. Say... You wouldn't happen to want to be my daughter, would you? I will give it to Brat TV. Every one of these actors, even the TikTok stars themselves, are all miles ahead of the performances and screenwriting that we see in Darman's videos. So I will give them that. TV, please, we'll do anything. Ho, ho, ho. Give it up for Mrs. Claus. What happened to you guys? We've had a deal with a demon. We can't leave until he eats, but we've tried everything. Everything. I got this. Pick your poison. That one. Excellent choice, and you can have her. But first... You've got to be kidding me. Thank you. You earned it, kid. Crazy how just ingesting the hot breath of an e-boy can really fucking lift your spirits. She is a completely different character than we saw before. Not just a nicer version of the character she was. They just threw everything out the fucking door and wrote a new character. I don't even want to know. <laughs> oh man, you can't even write this stuff. Unless you're Brat TV. They wrote it. Adrenaline was amazing. So first I stuck into the ER and there was this boy. He was bleeding everywhere. So I saved his life. And then Dr. Henry called me over out of all the nurses in the ER to help save this girl with third degree burns. It was crazy. <sighs> While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Don't ever forget why you're here. But, despite a few hiccups, you guys survived. Jeez, lady, lighten up. You literally gave these guys simple-ass tasks that they completed, and now they're just going home for the day, having some small talk, and you come in like, while you guys are patting yourselves on the back, going home after doing everything that I told you to, some guy just fucking died over there. I have no clue what that has to do with you guys, but I'm pissed anyways. But good job. I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to be feeling right now because they just wrote all these random-ass lines for me to say. It doesn't really make sense. This episode's only nine minutes long. Next week... Try to be a little more professional. These will help. Wow, this is so cool! Also, is it necessary they have a 10-foot distance between them and their conversation? You think we have to wear these every day? I really hope so. It has my name on it. Yeah, Jack, it does. Well, she made the joke for me, so I guess I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> Oh, 
Well guys, I am invested to say the least. I would very much like to watch more of this show, so if you guys do want to see me react to more episodes of this, add that to the list of series I need to finish on this channel. But yeah, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give it a like rating down below. It lets me know that you enjoyed it and it helps out the videos a ton. If you have any thoughts, ideas, opinions, or really thing at all, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're new here and you thought, wow, this was good stuff. Consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my uploads. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye.